on this example, what we're going to be doing is dealing with a right triangle. We're going to be given um, one of the angles and also one of the legs of the triangle. Um, our goal is to find the other leg, the hypotenuse, and the other angle in this triangle. So basically to solve the triangle based on this information. So let's get started here. I'm going to begin by putting the information we already know into the, the problem. So we know leg A is four. So I'm going to label that as four on this side. And then angle uh, A is 10 degrees. So this is going to be 10 degrees for this angle. All right. So to gain the other three pieces of information, um, I think the easiest one is to start out with finding angle B. So angle B is gonna be given um, by making sure that you understand that all of the angles in a triangle always add up to 180 degrees. So we can start with 180 degrees and subtract off the 10 degrees for angle A. And then our right angle is a 90 degree angle so subtract off 90 degrees, that's gonna leave us with 80 degrees at the end. So angle B is gonna be 80 degrees. All right, next up, we can either choose to solve for B or for C. And I'm gonna do these as trying to find exact answers as we go through instead of getting decimal approximations. So if we focus on angle A, we would refer to side A as being opposite and side B as being adjacent so I'm just kind of labeling these and C will be the hypotenuse. So shorthand in that. All right, next up, what we need to do is pick out one of our trigonometric ratios, sine, cosine, or tangent are my favorites doing this. Um, what we want to do is involve angle A that we know is 10 degrees, and then probably use side A, which is four. All right, so our choice is looking up at SOHCAHTOA, this abbreviation saying, um, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. We want to involve one that has the opposite, right? Because we know the opposite is four. So let's start out with sine of 10 degrees, sine of our angle there is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. So let me write this out. We can say sine of 10 degrees, and I'm choosing the 10 degrees. You could use the 80 degrees if you chose. All right, is going to be opposite. Here, I'll just write it out, op opposite over hypotenuse. So our opposite is gonna be four and the hypotenuse is unknown. It's gonna be C. So trying to solve this equation down and I'm ignoring the inside here, the opposite over hypotenuse. I was just using that for helping to set this up. We have an equation that looks like this. Our goal to solve for C is gonna be difficult if C is stuck in the denominator. So let's go ahead and multiply both sides by C to get it out of the denominator. Multiplying and dividing by C will counteract each other. So now we have C multiplied by sine of 10 degrees equals four. And to get C all by itself, it's multiplied by sine of 10 degrees. So we'll divide both sides by sine of 10 degrees. Therefore, those get to cancel out and we get C all by itself over here. All right, so there's our answer for C is going to be 4 divided by sine of 10 degrees. Now, if you wanted to get a decimal approximation on this, make sure your calculator is in degree mode as opposed to radian mode. All right. Lastly, what we want to do is we want to find B. So we haven't found B yet. We could go ahead and fill in, this is four divided by sine of 10 degrees. And this was 80 degrees. Um, to get B, we could use the Pythagorean theorem, but that sine of 10 degrees is gonna be kind of a mess when you're plugging it into uh, the Pythagorean theorem and trying to solve down. So instead I may choose um, say tangent. If we choose tangent, looking at um, the 10 degrees again, we can say tangent of 10 degrees is going to be opposite over adjacent. So in our case, the opposite is four and the adjacent is gonna be B. Now that we have that set up, we can solve it down, really ignoring the middle part there, four over B. And the work here is gonna be very similar to what we just did up above, that we're gonna multiply both sides to get our variable out of the denominator b times tangent of 10 degrees equals four. And we need to divide both sides by tangent of 10 degrees.
to get B on one side all by itself. We can go ahead and fill in if we want to. That's going to be four over a tangent of 10 degrees. All right, I hope these steps made pretty good sense as we were walking through this one. Um, these are kind of strange looking answers that we don't have, um, you know, we still have a uh, trigonometric function going on on the inside of defining our leg, leg lengths B and C. But these are nice exact answers. You can always get an approximation by punching this into the calculator. Um, anyway, hope this helps. Good luck to you on right triangles.